In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use conditional policies to enforce device trust for your fleet of devices. We will cover how you can allow or deny access to resources such as the user portal and bound applications based on the device that the JumpCloud user is authenticating from. To get started, log into your JumpCloud administrator account, navigate to the security management section on the left, and select conditional policies. To create a conditional policy for device trust, click on the green plus icon at the top left. A right-hand pane will slide out displaying the configuration options for the policy. There are many variations of how you can use these policies to enforce device trust. In our example, we're going to be setting up a policy to restrict access to resources for any device that is not currently managed by JumpCloud. Fill out the policy name, description, and policy status. Under Assignments, select All Users or a selected user group. In this example, I'm going to be selecting All Users. Optionally, you can add conditions based on device or IP address. If you set multiple conditions, you can use the drop-down to select whether you require any or all conditions to be met. In this example, we'll add a condition based on device. You'll see a new pop-up stating that in order to use device trust, you must first enable global certificate distribution. This is a prerequisite in order to enforce device trust policies. If a device does not have a valid certificate, the authentication attempt will be denied. Toggle this on and click Continue. With Global Certificate Distribution enabled, you'll see the device conditions. There will be two options, Jump Cloud Managed Device and Unmanaged Device. For this example, I'm wanting to revoke access to unmanaged devices, and I'll select this option. Under Action, I can either allow or deny access based on my assignments and conditions. If I allow access, I can also require MFA during authentication. Note. If you require MFA for users who have not had MFA enabled already, they will be prompted for MFA during authentication. It is always best practice to have users enrolled into MFA before enabling this option. For this example, I will choose Deny Access to Selected Resources. Click Create Policy. Now that the policy is applied, let's see the end user experience while authenticating from a managed and non-managed device. I have a macOS device that is currently managed by JumpCloud's agent, as well as the user account bob.fay, which we'll be using to demonstrate. Opening a browser of my choice, I'll attempt to log into the user portal from this managed device with bob.fay's credentials. We can now see that I've successfully logged into the user portal and have access to the SSO applications Bob has access to on this managed device. Let's replicate this workflow on an unmanaged device to show the denial of access based on the policies we've just configured. Logging into Bob's account on a non-managed Windows device, I attempt to log in and replicate this workflow. As we can see, even though Bob has valid credentials, we've set the policy to enforce denial of authentication from non-managed devices. If we were to change this policy to require MFA for non-managed devices, Bob could authenticate to the user portal from his non-managed Windows device, but MFA would be required before access is given. There are many ways to utilize and configure conditional policies. Check out JumpCloud's knowledge base articles on device trust or conditional policies for more details.